today I'm gonna show you the five things I hate about my Hellcat. Welcome back to the channel. This is Caesar. If this is your first time here, make sure you click that subscribe button. I make videos about my Hellcat and other car related stuff. And we're gonna get this video started. This video is not about what I hate about my car. It's just things that I can improve or change it to make it perfect. No car is perfect, but this one is very, very close to be perfect to me. I got this Hellcat back in March of last year it's been roughly 19 months since I had it. Uh, it took me a while to figure out what were the things that I didn't like about the car, but because pretty much is this car is pretty good, you know, the way it is. But by owning the car for that long, for 19 months, I can see little things that I can improve in the car. Out of five things that I hate about this car, four of them are in the interior. The number one thing that I hate is the chrome accents. Okay, look, I'm under the shade. I don't have I don't have the sunroof as you can see, but if I have a sunroof, it will make it even worse. There's chrome right here, chrome right here. There's chrome right here on the shift knob, shift knob. Also here in the steering wheel. There's also chrome right here in the doors that you can see. You see the shiny right there? I have no idea why people would put chrome inside the cars. My eyes! Now that I talk about the chrome accent, which was our number one thing I hate, let's move on to our number two, which is the driver's seat. I don't know why Dodge will put an electric chair like why did do this look how slow this thing moves okay I don't care about memory seats or anything like that because I'm the only one that drives this car so the seat doesn't move but if I sit people in the back it takes them forever to get out of the back seat so what I do is I make everybody get out the, the driver the, the passenger side so that is the number two thing I hate about the Hellcat Six and a half hours later. Guys, uh, this is a nice area to record a video. Like, the scenery is pretty nice. They got nice planes here in the background and all that. Uh, I don't even know if I'm supposed to... Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm recording. All right, I'm going to use the camera. Uh, what, why is that? Uh, you're on an installation at the moment. Just to... What kind of car is this? It, it's a Hellcat. You sure it's not a Demon? No, no, uh, no, the demon's not out yet. It's, it's a Hellcat. Get out. Okay, guys, so we're here at March Field uh, Museum. March Field Air Museum, right. What is it again? March Field Air Museum. Here yeah, in I, yeah, I always call it the March Museum. It's hard for me to say. But I'm here with one of the security guys. How's we're it going? Pretty cool guy. And uh, we're filming here at the at the museum, the airstrip right here, and there's like really nice prints. And uh, I appreciate the time, man, you gave me. I appreciate, uh, you know, the fun we had. So, thank you, uh, thank you, man. Thank you for your service, big time. I appreciate that. Thank you. Not a problem. Hey, have a good one. You too. You see, guys, it's pretty cool to record here, man. The next thing I hate about the Hellcat, which is going to be our number three, it's the back seat. Now, there's plenty of space in the back seat. I could fit. People say two adults. I fit three adults back there. A uh, little bit uncomfortable, but two is perfectly fine. The problem is not the space. The problem is that they're folded seats and they don't fold all the way. That's the only thing. I'm gonna show you right now how it looks. Now, these are the back seats and they have these handles right here. Check this out. Oh, shit. This is as far as they go to be folded. So if you're going to fit something that's back there, there's not plenty of space. I'm going to show you a, a box I got for the wicker bill. Obviously, you're going to say, well, why didn't you buy a pickup truck or a wagon? But this car came with folded seats. And 
you can see the size of this box, which is the wicker belt I just got. And when I went to go get it, I was like, yeah, it could fit in my car. Because it has folded seats, right? So let me show you. The seats are folded, and I'm going to fit this box, which is less than six foot tall, right? Look at this. Because the seats don't go all the way down. So that's a problem I had. As you can see, I'm almost uh, six foot tall. This is, uh, I never sit back here, so... But you can see that it's, it's not a it's not a complaint. It's not that there's no space. That's one of the main reasons also about the car. It's not a problem. The back seats. It's just when they fold, they should fold flat so I can fit bigger things back there. That's that's just the minor gripe I got. The final thing, which is number four from the interior, that I hate. I have to move out of the car. I gotta. Let me show you. See how easy it is to get out? Bam. So this thing that I hate, and actually don't hate, but I wish I wish this car would have, is the e-brake. The e-brake on this car is the pedal down here. So you got one for the e-brake, and then you release it here, right? But I wish Dodge would have made the handbrake right here. The handbrake right here it would have been way better um i care less about these uh cup holders right here so maybe later in the future i'll probably do something and do the e-brake here what i would like to do is i wish dodge would have made the e-brake here a handbrake i don't know why they went with the with the foot pedal but it would have been it would have been way better now that's the final thing from the interior that i hate the next thing that i hate is gonna be an exterior This is something that can be changed but I don't know why Dodge didn't start this with the get-go and it's the wheels and tires I love don't get me wrong I love these wheels pieces are not that bad the only thing that I would have changed for the Hellcat I would have do a staggered look I would have done 20 inches are fine. Nine, nine and a half in the front is, is, is good for me. But the rear, they should have made it at least 10 and a half, maybe 11 so I could fit a bigger tire. 275, like everybody knows, is not a, is a good pad for traction. But I'm gonna go later on with 305s and possible maybe 315s. Thanks for watching. I just did my five things that I hate about the Hellcat. Now, just remember this I don't hate this car. This is. I love this. There's somebody peeing over there. Look at that. Look, he just got caught peeing. <laughs> he just got busted. Burn, burn for the traffic. Okay, guys, this is a good way to finish this video. The five things I hate about this Hellcat. But remember that I love this car. The next video is gonna be all the things. I'm not. It's not gonna be five. There's way more than five things that I love about this car. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you haven't, click in that notification bell so you won't miss my next videos and i'll see you on the next one how can you hate that thing there's no way